Hello Saxo friend, Kajun here, the Sax Habit Coach. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can learn how to groove with reggae just using your reggae scales. Well, it scales. So I've made this backing track for you and I to practice with. We're going to do a mirroring effect. I play, then I leave space, and then you're going to play. And then reggae, you have to play with a lot of space. And you have to play with feelings and emotions. So don't just play the notes. Think about the feelings and the emotions and the rhythm, because that's very important when playing reggae, especially on the saxophone. You have to have good timing and good rhythm. By the way, the sheet music and the backing track that I've made is in the description below. Tenor players, you'll be playing in the key of F major. Alto players, we will be playing in the key of C major and I'll put the notes up here for both saxophones. One thing that you should keep in mind as I show you these patterns is that you have to play with a relaxed kind of feeling. You cannot play it and jab the notes playing it mechanically. You have to play reggae with a relaxed feel. You are precise with your notes meaning you can't be wavering which note to play. You have to be direct with your notes. If it's a G you're playing you have to play the G confidently but at the same time you play with a relaxed form. Let's Let's bring up the sheet music and you can find the sheet music that I'll use here and the backing track, reggae backing track, in the description below at www.cadrianthomas.com. Come. So the first scale pattern we'll play is just our regular C major scale starting at the root and we will go all the way up to the ninth. So tenor players, that is your F major scale. You only have one flat to deal with right? That B flat. And we are going up to the ninth, coming back down to the second, starting at the root again, and we go up to the ninth and we finish on the root with a half note. The second pattern is a four note pattern, and we are going up to the fourth degree of the major scale, C, and we go up to F, then we come back down to the root, and then we skip up a third, which is to that E right here for us uh, alto players, and then you go down to that D, which is the second degree, to build the same four note pattern. So a few things that this four note pattern will do for your technique while you play. One, first of all, you're practicing your scales in short or small chunks. The second thing is that when you go up to that F, come down to that C, you have to jump up a third. So you're practicing your intervals right here, your intervals of a third or skip. And then you're doing the same thing when you come back down to that D and you jump up to that F and that F is serving as the leading tone into that E, which is the third degree of the scale. And we keep doing that until we get to the top of the scale. See, we go all the way up and then we end on the octave C. Then when we are coming down, we start at the root or the octave of the scale, we go up to that fourth degree, which in this case would be your 11th degree, and you come down to that C, then you're going to skip down a third to that A and start on the B and you build a pattern and you keep going, going until we reach the end. Then when you get to the bottom here, you notice you have to go down to that low B to use that as your leading tone to end on your root note, which is that C. So that is going to help you to also practice your low notes. All right, when we get to these little four bars, one, two, three, four bar patterns, then you notice we're using some rhythmic variation here. We are starting up top, coming down and landing on this fourth degree, and then we incorporate some triplets. So we're keeping this very diatonic, and then we are changing the rhythm again, and we're using some 16th and some 8ths, and we're mixing up the patterns with the quarter notes. And these are little short phrases that you can practice your scales with. When you practice your scales like this, it makes sense so that when you're improvising, there are little snippets of ideas that you can play. And notice that I spaced it all out because reggae, you have to play reggae spaced out. And so when we reach to bar 26, there is a pattern here that we keep repeating. We keep repeating this pattern. We use some um, 16th and we go to a uh, quarter note. And then we start it on the fifth, go down to the third, come back to the fifth. We go to the sixth, we go down to the fourth, we go back to the sixth. And we repeat the pattern. So it's done twice. And then we jump all the way up to 
our 10th degree or the third of the scale and we do the same thing until we walk up the scale with a triad here at the end. We go up with your A minor triad, which is the A, C and the E, and then we use this D, which is the ninth degree of the scale as your leading tone back into the root note. We're finishing down this section here. You notice that we're using a lot of triplets down here. These are arpeggios or triads, C, E, G, C, E, G, E, G, C, that's your inversion. F, A, C, F, A, C, A, C, F. And then we're walking down and this is a pattern that is used all the time in all kinds of music. You're backpedaling pretty much. You start at that C, go down one, come back to the C. You're rocking back and forth on each degree of the scale until you get all the way to the top. So I'm going to start with this pattern first and I will play it, then you will play. Then I will play the first part of this four note pattern, then you will play. Then I will play the second part, then you will play. And we're going to go back and forth like that. I am going to play these four bars down here, and then you are going to play. Any one of these patterns or chunks right here, you can plug anywhere in this backing track the way I have built it. You just have to know when to come in based on how you count in the rhythm. Let's jump right into it and let's practice. Here we go. Your time. Back to me. Your time. My time. Your time. My time. Back to you. Back to me. Back to me. Go. 
<laughs> good job, good job. All right, Saxo friends, the sheet music and the backing track is in the description below. You can find those at www.kadrianthomas.com. Com, and then you can check out my reggae playlist right here of all the reggae covers that I've done here on YouTube. And as always, push play until something happens. Peace. <laughs>